When Mattel started 70 years ago, it was an invention company. The name of the company that was started in a garage was called Mattel Creations. Part of what we're doing now is going back to our roots as a creations company. We're literally launching a new content media and digital division called Mattel Creations. And we're doing it here at MIP TV, which is an incredible place to do it. We have a lot of incredible assets within Mattel, and the shift in creating the the team that is now known as Mattel Creations is really assembling those assets. You know, back before anybody even knew what a content strategy was, Mattel was actually telling short stories through television commercials. Fast forward today, and we're now telling short stories in a variety of different ways on different platforms. The toy benefits from the development of that content because one of the things that's very clear is that if the content can't stand on its own, it won't also benefit the toy. So we've built a bit of an ecosystem around the toy with television, theatrical, digital content, apps and games, where all of those things have to work in concert and the toy is part of the story as opposed to the starting point for the story. You have to be everywhere your consumer is, and that includes games and apps and online and theatrical and DVD in various different ways that ultimately Mattel needs to continue to transform itself in order for it and its brands to stay relevant. Our customers start as consumers, they evolve into fans. And we have fans who are five years old, 50 years old, 90 years old. Today's world is very different. It's a two-way communication and in many cases, kids are actually telling us what they want to play with. Almost 50% of children 6 to 11 are creating content themselves. And that content does help to inform not only the programming that we're making, but also the evolution of the toys. They're actually showing us how they play with our toys. And in some cases, it's very different than what our original intent was. And so now we're embracing that and starting a really good, new, exciting way to communicate with our audience. I think that when you walk around, what you're most enticed with is the energy. It is amazing to me how many international partners we've been able to meet with in such a short amount of time. It's almost a plethora of opportunity, and the challenge, I actually think, is editing all the different things that you hear, people you meet, um, ideas that are shared and or you have to share with others. It's been incredibly helpful, especially in this new role that hasn't existed before, to be able to sit down and talk with producers, broadcasters, distributors from around the globe. You know, we're incredibly humbled and honored to be chosen as brand of the year for our recent work. I'm inspired by the idea that people are recognizing in the early days of our transformation. We've also made some operational and organizational shifts to accelerate our business around content and, and putting content front and center of where we're trying to go as a business, which makes us a, a good partner in the marketplace. That we're obviously on the right path. More importantly, our consumers are reacting favorably. The industry is embracing our strategies. We're watching talent come and be interested in working with us at Mattel. And so ultimately, you know, I think Mattel's best days are ahead of us, but we're incredibly thrilled to be honored this year at MIP TV with Brand of the Year.